Hey guys, welcome back to Exotic Car DIY. So the interior in my E63 is disgusting. Check this out. Ew. Ew. That's disgusting. Ew. Gross. But in this episode, guys, I'm going to make it perfect. So stay tuned. So as you can see, the Alcantara on the steering wheel is just matted down with years of just disgustingness. And the seats in the car, especially being a light color, are just really just soiled and gross and are showing their age. The leather has kind of hardened up a little bit. So one of the cool things about the E63s is they come with Napa leather, which can be restored because it is real. So like I've said before, I am unsponsored by anybody. But in this video, I'm going to be using two products, uh, Leatherique for the seats and Sonex for the steering wheel. So anyway, let's get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is just kind of give it a, a quick wipe down with just some uh, light soap and water. This will kind of get off any old cleaners and then just some general heavy dirt. So to apply leathery, it's really not rocket science. Some people use a sponge. I like to use my hand uh, so it doesn't absorb directly into the perforations for the leather. I kind of quickly like rub it around real quick and then just massage it in and nice and evenly. You don't need to put it on too heavy because you're going to cover it with plastic and then reapply a couple times over a few days. Now the way this works is this is literally just leather oil that is soaking back in there to revitalize the leather. As it soaks in there, it actually forces the dirt out and then we're going to clean that up a little later with the Prestine Clean product. And then literally we're just going to cover it up with trash bag. And the last thing I want to address here is the steering wheel. As you can see, it is just matted down from hand lotion, skin oil or whatever, and that is disgusting. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up and try to make this Alcantara look brand new. The product I'm using for this is the Sonex Alcantara cleaner. Works really well. So here's the plan. We got a towel in our lap. So we're just going to take some of the Sonex, kind of just foam it on here and keep it out of your buttons and just kind of work it around. If you use a brush, there's a good likelihood you're going to get these like lint bump look all over. It won't be smooth anymore. You have little like, balls of Alcantara everywhere. So be very gentle with it. Just let the product do the work. So we're just going to massage it in with our hands and then let it sit for about 10 minutes and then blot it up with a clean rag. All right, it's been about seven minutes. So we got a clean microfiber. And instead of scrubbing this, I'm just going to kind of just gently wipe. I said that is nasty. So um, it's going to probably take a few tries before we get it really back to looking brand new. But either way, oh my God. if that's coming off, you know it's going to look good when we're done. Again, I don't want those little fuzzies, so I'm just going to be very gently and mostly blot and squeeze. That's so gross. All right, and now we are done. So I spent about an hour on this, but it came out perfect. So as you can see, there's none of the little uh, fluffies that you get if you rub it too hard. The uh, look is very consistent. It has all the uh, the fibers are all look even. None of them are matted down. No signs of a previous owner anywhere. So I'm very happy with the way this came out. I would definitely recommend it. It's just nice to have a steering wheel that uh, looks good again. All right, so the leather has been on there for about three days. So now I'm going to use their uh, pristine clean to get it off. Basically, you just kind of mist it on there. And you don't just wipe off. You're actually going to buff the leather. And what this does is it not only cleans it, obviously, but it's going to give a nice matte finish to our leather like it's supposed to be. Nothing glossy. All right, so there is the finished product. The leather is actually very soft, very matte finished. And the whole idea is, see how there's these wrinkles? These were much more predominant before. Now, I'm very curious to see what I'll do on the driver's side since that was the most beat up. But it makes a lot of these go away because it soaked it back up. All right, so now the big test. Let's see what kind of color we get. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. That's disgusting. So remember the other side, I didn't really get anything until it hit just the bolster over here. This one already getting nice stuff in the rag right off the bat. Remember, even before we started, we wiped these down with soap and water. Any kind of external dirt should have already came off. So it's actually coming up. Almost got it all now. This stuff wouldn't even come close with soap and water. Look at that. All 
right, well, let's see if we can do it to these guys. Fingers crossed. It is coming up. I seriously thought that this leather was completely soiled and stained. Check out this. That looks completely brand new like the other side now. You can see how soft the leather is now too. Oh my gosh, this is working awesome. Now, like I said, I am not sponsored by anybody, but I should be. This is probably one of the best cases for Leatherique. This literally looks brand spanking new. And that was the dirtiest. This part was so discolored. I thought it was like stained or something like that. So that one is done. So now we're gonna move on to the top up here. You can see how nasty this stuff is. And uh, hopefully we'll have the same result up top as we did down below. So this right here was scrubbed with soapy water and this is leathery after a few days. So one thing I do notice, if you're not getting the result you want, just keep scrubbing. I mean, it takes some effort, but it keeps coming out. Okay guys, so the interior is done. In fact, pretty much everything is done on this, except for one thing I'll mention here at the end. As you can see, I got a new windshield, so my glass is perfect. And uh, come on over here, check out these seats. I was, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not just saying that guys, but uh, these seats came out amazing. So now we got the entire interior is done and detailed. Uh, the leather, like I said, and it's now like just super soft. It was pretty dry and kind of hard before in some spots. Now everything is really, really soft. The color looks perfect. Even these wrinkles are now much, much less apparent everywhere. Even in these bright lights, they look good. And then even more importantly is that driver's seat. So I thought this driver's seat was just totally done, but now it looks great. I mean, there's shadows on it, obviously I'm filming, but the color just came back so much on this. They're, everything's super soft. Even these wear marks are much, much less apparent. I was able to kind of touch that up with some leather dye. It looks great. We fixed the trim panel from the dealership that they falsely claimed they uh, replaced. And so it looks really good. So there's one more thing. So speaking of the dealership, we need to now still address this guy. So remember, like I said, I got bent rims and cracked rims, and this one needs air every single day. And it took a while, but I got new things. So that's going to be in the next video, guys. And uh, so make sure you subscribe and watch because that is coming up next. <laughs>